Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan and the video today is going to be about Climb VPN. We're going to be able to configure Climb VPN interface in the Security Appliance MX from the dashboard for Cisco Meraki. In this way, we're going to go to the Climb VPN interface. I going to configure it, I enable it, and we're going to create some users so you can use it with the credentials for any device. Basically, this is used when you have a remote worker that needs to access local resources or servers in the LAN side. So we're going to configure in the MX and configure in the client side so they can access as you're going to add like a regular LAN client. So let's go to the dashboard and let's configure it. Now we want to configure the client BPM service in the security appliance MX on the dashboard for Cisco Meraki. To start, we're going to go to security and SD1 page and client BPM. Everything that you need is going to be in this page. First thing is enable client BPM. Here you're going to have different options. The first one is the host name. You can use either this host name in the client VPN device, or you can use the public IP address of the Max. The next part is configuring the client VPN subnet. We can use the same example that we have right now, or you can use the subnet that you wish. The next one is gonna be the DNS name servers. You can have several options here or specify the name servers that you want. Here in this occasion, we're gonna use the Google public DNS. Win server is, is if it's needed. In this occasion, we're going to leave it as no. And the secret is going to be the password that you need for the client VPN. So you need that password to configure on the device when you want to use client VPN into this MX. We're going to put the simplest password. And then you're going to have different authentication options. You can use either Meraki Cloud, so you can have your own list of authenticated clients here. You can use a radius. To use a radius, you can add the host, the port, and the secret. Or you can use an Active Directory. With this, you need the short domain, the server IP address, and the admin credentials. In this occasion, we're going to use Meraki Cloud. So here, you're going to have the list of all the admins that you're going to add and provide access. So we're going to create a new user. In the new user, we're going to put IT way user. The email address is going to be IT at the itway.com and the password is going to be a simple password here you can create your own password or generate a new password it's going to be random and that is the option to authorize that client or not and you can select an expiration date you can put does not expire ever or you can expire in 10 days so after those 10 days this credential is going to be invalid we create the user and we can see the user here. So you can you create as many users as you want. In that case, you will not need a radius or Active Directory to authenticate the clients. After you create all the users that you want, you can save the changes and you will see all the configuration that we have done. After having the configuration set in place in the dashboard, we're gonna go to the end device to configure the client VPN. In this case, we're gonna use a Mac here. This is the network options. We're going to create a new connection. We're going to select the VPN interface and layer 2TP over IPsec. We're going to call it IT way. After have this created, we're going to select the server address. This could be either the public IP address of the Max, or you can use the dynamic DNS from the dashboard. The account name is going to be your user. In this case, it's going to be the email or username that you select here. We're going to put it at the itway.com. The account settings, the password is going to be the username password when you create the user in this instance. And the church secret is going to be the secret you select in this field. Click OK. We go to Advanced. I'm going to select this option. Send all traffic over the VPN connection. 
what this is going to do is all the traffic of the VPN connections established is going to go through the VPN tunnel. After it is saved here, you apply the changes and click connect. If the connection is established, you will see here in the status connected, the connected time and the IP address from your device with all the traffic that has been sent. What we're going to do now is we're going to take packet captures while this transaction is in place so you can see the whole traffic flow between the end device to the MX in the other end. After taking those packet captures, you will have it here. As you can see, there is different kind of traffics. We have two ways of seeing it. We can either filter by the ports, which is going to be Four, five hundred and forty five hundred and you will see all the traffic for connections of the VPN or you can filter by the public IP address so as you can see here this is my local IP address and this is the remote end to create the connections all this it's acquired in the 500 bidirectional traffic and after that you can see the 4500 bidirectional traffic after the connection is established all the remaining traffic is ESP traffic. And that's how you configure the client VPN interface in the Cisco Meraki Security Appliance MX. You just have to go to the portal and follow the steps below. If you have any questions or any problems configuring this feature in the Meraki MX, just put your comments below. I can help you to continue moving forward. In addition to that, I'm going to put in the description box some documentation from the Meraki documentation portal that can help you out to continue configuring special features for this client VPN or troubleshoot any problems that you may encounter in the future. Again, that's how you're doing in the Meraki way. See you in the next one.